What's going on guys, Black Hat here with my first Android tutorial. I just want to mention that I'm not a big Android consumer, I've mostly been an Apple guy and more recently this is a Nokia 630 uh, running Windows. Um, this, is my, this has been my temporary phone for about a year now and it does the job. Uh, but recently I bought this phone for uh, just test cases, little things like that. It's uh, it's a Huawei. Let me just pull up the model number here. M931, running Android 4.0.4. So, uh, like I said, it's my really my second or third time on on Android, and I recently got this phone set up, and the the issue at hand was I couldn't get the Play Store to launch. So basically, you can see here it works now, but last night. It wasn't quite the story. It would launch like that and it would crash instantaneously at that startup white screen. So I did scour the internet for uh, a few solutions, excuse me, and sadly none of them worked, but surprisingly I ended up figuring out what the problem was for myself. So in this video I'm going to teach you a couple solutions on fixing your, your Play Store as well as uh, the solution I myself came up with. So assuming that you've already cleared up all your background processes and uh, actually tried restarting the device before you launch the store again, I'm going to go ahead and save some time and cut directly to the chase. So what you need to do first is you need to find your settings and you can find that either in your uh, apps menu or if you have it pinned up on the home screen like I do, just tap on it. Once you're in settings, uh, you want to look under the device heading for apps or app manager if you're on, I think, a, an earlier version of Android. So again, I'm running 4.0.4 here. Once you're inside the app manager, uh, you want to scroll down to Google Play Store. And again, notice the, the name of the app is Google Play Store rather than uh, just Play Store. So once you're there, you want to click on it. And there are a number of things you can do. So First things first, you can try to uninstall the updates since you may have a corrupt update if you recently updated it. Uh, and then try to launch that again. If that doesn't work, try to force stop it first. I'm not going to force stop it uh, since mine's working per uh, perfectly, but you can force stop it and see what happens. Uh, another thing you can try doing if if you can't locate your Google Play Store in alphabetical order, um, chances are that it's actually disabled. So what ends up happening is it appears at the very bottom of the list after the alphabeticalized uh, enabled apps. So um, when you click on whatever disabled app you have, there should be an enable button. You're going to go ahead and click that. And again, try, it and, try and see if you can launch the store after that. Uh, if it still crashes like mine was, then I have one more remedy. So we're going to go back to our app manager and try and locate your Google account, Google account manager. So if your Google account manager is up and running, try doing the same thing. Try disabling it. Uh, try force stopping it. Again, if it's uh, if it doesn't work. Or if you can't locate it um, alphabeticalized, it probably means it's disabled. So um, you're going to go ahead and enable it. So the app would be the disabled Google Account Manager uh, process would be somewhere down here. You would go ahead and enable it and go back and try. And I can guarantee you, after you uninstall all your Play Store updates and after you try disabling it and then re-enabling it, um, on top of the, on top of re-enabling your uh, account manager, Play Store uh, should be working again. Again, if it isn't, try restarting it and then clicking on Play Store again. Finally, if none of that works, uh, I think a reset would have to be in order. So to reset, you would have to go into your settings and um, on this version of Android, it's under the personal heading. You can see right there, there's a backup and reset 
option. And of course, uh, you'd want to back up all your photos, contacts, anything important before you restore or you do a factory reset. And I think that is sort of the um, end all and say all of uh, fixing your Play Store because if nothing else works, uh, a factory reset certainly will. So I uh, hope this helps and uh, I'm really happy that I didn't have to do a factory reset. Hopefully you didn't have to either. Go ahead and leave me a like if it helped and subscribe if you want to watch uh, any future videos. So peace out guys.